guys may be wondering now, uh, what are my plans for the series? Well, I'm going to be doing an accelerated career mode, at least for the first season, uh, until the series gets up to scratch. So what I'm thinking here is I will play the next game against Spurs, and then I will play the October 29th match against Arsenal. Just because then, within two episodes, we're able to get back into the transfer window. And to be honest with you, um, after seeing uh, b Monist's video, he talked very eloquently about how, in all honesty, uh, Kerma's been here for a few more years. And don't worry, after the first season I'm thinking, I will go back to actually every game. But I'm thinking for the first season at least, it's going to be a struggle there, so... To like to simulate some games may just be a better idea in the long term, and maybe it'll let, let me enjoy the series a little bit more. We're making our uh, debut into this episode, so we're gonna be playing against Spurs in the first game. So I switched to Legacy Defending. It works in Ultimate Team, but it has been nothing short of a disaster in um, yeah this career. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it back to the usual. Uh, go on to tactical defending, man. I I need to do that. Like, uh, it's not been good. But regardless, uh, let's get into this game. And uh, yeah, let's hopefully do well. All right, so we're moving into the match versus Tottenham at Wembley. This is a huge match. We're I think 19th or 20th in the league. We haven't been very good at all this season, and. It would be absolutely massive to get a victory against Tottenham. So, yeah, I do admit, honestly, I have made some mistakes in terms of signings. Uh, but you know what? We January transfer window won't be too far away, given the way I'm doing this episode. But regardless, um, taking a look at Tottenham lineup. So Escudero on the back. Uh, it's four four. It's four two three one. Uh, it's a very very good team. Harry Kane's gonna be a really tough to deal with in back. Such a fantastic team in all honesty. We're going to have to play at our very best to have a chance of winning here. It's Federico Fernandez being beaten around the back. Oh, that was really poor from him, honestly. Uh, just an exceptional show of uh, a lack of pace. Oh, that's an incredible ball. Off the post. Spurs are showing their quality early on, and we're kind of struggling to get anything going. Okay, there we go. It's half time. So. It's been a solid performance so far. Uh, we've been good. And yeah, uh, I see no reason to change anything. I've uh, been pretty happy with the performance. Oh, that was really good there. That's brilliant positioning. Can my players not win a freaking header? It's Federico Fernandez. Oh no, no, no. I see that. I see that run. Chatekin! Oh, that's close. Oh my god. Wow, what a chance. I swear to god. Kudu. Chate! Oh god, come on! Tottenham take the lead, and it's 72 minutes in. It's Musa Soko. Federico Fernandez, man. He's, he's not getting a start in the next game. Gonna make a change. Our midfield has actually been really good this game. I really like our midfield. So, um, regardless, I'm gonna bring on Renato Sanchez, and then switch out. Um. I mean, I can't really fault our performance. We haven't been bad. It's just we're unfortunate not to take our chances. It's gonna be Amadou here. It's Grimaldo. Grimaldo! Good save by Loris. It's our second goal! Go! 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 Langsar! We've got Malangsar with a smashing finish into the far corner! And that is the goal we deserve! What a hit, son! What a hit! It's a brilliant cross from Pulisic there, and Malangsar gets so open. It's a beautiful far hit. Right into the net. Oh, Golazo! Alright. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, you know what? You know what? I will take that. I will just take that. A 1-1 draw. Uh, 
I think we are actually relatively deserving of that, and I finally started to drop Leg Legacy Defending in. We finally had some hope. Yeah, it was kind of nice. Um, I will take that. Oh, I will bloody take that. So yeah, I'll show you guys the uh, results we got. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be a lot of me just uh, doing my own stuff, and then I will be back in a little while. All right, let's go. All right, so we're playing very much of an experimental lineup. Uh, Alexander Arnold, uh, Gomes. Baston are making their debut, and it's a narrow victory. Uh, it was a bit of a weaker lineup I put out there, but it's fine. I'm glad we could at least grab a victory there. Alright, so you guys are probably wondering what results have occurred since the Tottenham game. Obviously, we drew that one. So we beat Bristol Rovers 2 1. We beat Wat we draw uh, with Watford 2 2, drew with West Ham 1 1. Then we managed to beat Huddersfield 1 0 and Leicester 2 0, and then lost in the uh, EFL Cup to Southampton. So. That was although I wasn't really bothered about. Going to be getting into this match versus Arsenal. So it's not going to be an easy match. Obviously, had a hard time against Spurs, but managed to get a deserved goal. So hopefully we can just uh, go along and pick up a really famous result here. Would be huge. Our season has turned around, I'd say, in the last little bit. So uh, yeah, let's just keep it up and hopefully we'll play well. So, we move into the second game of the episode. We are playing against Arsenal in the Prem. So, we've been on a solid run of form. Uh, I don't think we've lost in the Premier League for the past few games. Definitely hoping to uh, keep that up in all reality. Uh, we've been solid though. Had a bit of a rough start early on, but ever since then we've picked it up. We've gotten about 8 points in our last 3 or 4 last eight points in the last five or so games so it's solid enough from us but Arsenal have a really strong team so it may be a bit of a struggle there regardless uh they are in third so they are in very good standing right now and could easily jump to uh, second place with a victory over us so they're gonna have a lot of motivation to do that but we have to want it more than them so taking a look at the two so firstly we're gonna be taking a look at the Arsenal lineup so we're lining with a 5-2-3, why are they playing 5 in the back? It's so boring, man. So, Carlos Snatch, Mustafi, Murtisacker, Castellani, and Ben Lerner in the back. That's El Nini and Coquele, and then Sanchez, Welbeck, and Walcott. We're playing a 4-3-2-1. Uh, Barco, Meza, Alain in the midfield. Masanda, and Bolo, Pulisic up top. And then Grimaldo, Sar, Federico Fernandez, and Amian Amadou alongside Fabianski in the back. So, uh, yeah, that's the lineup. Uh, let's get into this. And honestly, let's get a freaking goal from Bolo, man. This guy's been meh so far. Okay. Don't know how Sanchez got around him, but that's an incredible play by Sar. Oh, what a ball! It's Masanda! It's Masanda! It's Charlie Masanda scores! We've gotten a goal! 13 minutes in, Charlie Masanda puts it away into the back of the net. It's a brilliant through ball from Pulisic, and that is a confident finish from him. Right into the side netting there. It's a huge goal, 13 minutes in. And what a hit that is. Right into the back of the net. Come on! Charlie. The Chelsea crew having an impact. Okay. Oh god, we've conceded. Yeah, no, we were just hopeless there. I really didn't want to dive in. Probably should have risked it, so... Whatever, though. We can see. Okay, I will take that. It's a 1-1 draw with Arsenal. We have really put in some pretty good results, in all honesty. Uh, and yet again, we showed we were very much up to scratch. So, yeah. Um, definitely pleased there. And we are now into the month of November. So guys, to end off the episode, I am going to be going along and redeeming the S Scout Future Star. That is right, it would be an absolute dream for this guy to be in the center back or uh, goalkeeper positions, because Chelsea don't really have any good goalkeepers other than uh, Thibaut Courtois, so really, really need a goalkeeper as my Scout Future. That, that would just be perfection. Oh, well, that's going to be the end of the episode, so I want to thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed 
this episode, and I will see you guys later. Peace!